Hello friends, I am Dr. Ashish Agrawat. Welcome to my channel Live Biochemistry. Today I am going to discuss about the DocuWiki, how to work with the DocuWiki. So you can see my video as the link above how to install DocuWiki. You can also refer to the how to install LAMP server. So you require the LAMP server, Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP and then installation of DocuWiki. Once DocuWiki is install how to work with this DocuWiki that we will see in today's video. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to my channel. So DocuWiki as we have seen in my previous video that it is a learning management system and it is very important to keep your ISO documents as per NABL 112 or ISO 15189 documents you can keep here. Even some people also make the website from DocuWiki also. So this is a very important, uh, very useful tool. And uh, I would like to thank Dr. S. M. Patel sir, who gave me guidance and from whom I uh, come to know about this DocuWiki website. So thank you, Dr. S. M. Patel sir, who is professor and head at Surat Medical College. So let's start with the DocuWiki. So I'm sharing the screen. So uh, in Debian, you have to go to the application, Internet and Firefox. Okay. Once you go there, just type the address, the localhost address that is 127.0.0.1 and you have to type docuwiki. Okay. So this is the localhost. So this is a start of my page, you can see here. So I will log in via my admin account, so admin and I will type my password. Okay, so once you log in to the main page, so you can see here, I have already made some, uh, so how to get started with the DocuWiki. Okay, so you can see here, this is the edit page. So you have to just click on this and there are some basic commands that you have to see. Okay. So that we will discuss and how does it looks. Okay. That we will see. And then more and more you use this and more and more you will learn. Okay. And the commands are very easy to use. As per my knowledge, there are mainly five to six commands that you have to follow. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm just deleting whatever is there already. So I, did, I did this for the practice purpose. So now I will show you how this your how does your page looks like when you make your pages in the docu wiki. So one of the very important <coughs> command is this double So this is beginning. Okay. And again, okay, and just preview it. How does it look? So you can see here, this is a beginning. Okay. So you can see like this bold letter will come when you type. So it, it is like heading. Now I edit this page again and if I write in the this symbol okay, and it will show the column and the bold letters. So if I type my name GMERS Medical College go 3 Vadodra. The laboratory service, suppose I write laboratory services 
GMEL's Medical College, Gotri. So you can type your institute name here, and now we will see how does it look. So there will be bold letter, and it you can see here it is shown in the column. Okay. You can even save this, and you will see. Okay, so you can see this laboratory service, GMEL's Medical College, Gotri. This is just a getting start with the your DocuWiki. If I write, if I add more of this symbol, then more column will be seen. And how does this helpful? We will see. Okay, so I have just added. Okay, and now in the next line, I will write like I can save my primary documents. So like quality manual. And if you want. Multiple columns. You can just add this symbol. Okay, you can write like quality manual. Then, if you want to add another, then you can write USP. Okay. <clears throat> if you want to write SOP, you can write here and WDA. Or you can also add primary sample collection manual. Okay, so this line is for the column, multiple columns. You can see how does it looks. So we have to save it, and we will see how it looks. Okay, so you can see here quality manual, QSP, SOP, WDI, PSCM, like this. But uh, you can give link to this so. So far, we have seen what are the major. So for the headline, you can uh, just use this symbol. If you want to one single column, then you can add this symbol. If you want multiple columns, then you can use this. Now, very important is the link. Okay, so when you click here, then it will go to one link. So what is that? Okay, that we will see. So you can just. This uh, use this symbol, okay, and it will go to the column. Uh, it will go. It will show us as a link. Okay, so just I I will just save it now. <clears throat> you can see that here it is a link okay so you can now type here quality manual is prepared by laboratory service because anything you can type here and it will Show in the quality manual. Okay, so you can write everything. What is the main important main importance of this <coughs> DocuWiki is there is a collaborative work is possible. So there are different users are there and they can add simultaneously. Okay, so at a point uh, everything everyone can make the uh documents and collaborative work is possible also uh, it will show us the recent changes so if i show here older version so we often find that in sop and wdi or any this quality documents like quality manual quality uh, uh, standard procedure or sop or wdi or primary sample collection manual we need some amendments and when multiple amendments are made we do the revision so it will note down all the revision okay so i i was trying for the how does it work in getting starting with the docuwiki so all the changes okay it will show us okay and it will also show us the recent changes so click on the recent changes and all the recent changes are seen okay so that that's why this is very important so as for nabl or iso 15189 this docuwiki will be helpful okay so if i go again in the start so you can give the link here 
about this QM, you can give link here and update or just below it, you can give the link. So how you give it, just we will see. Okay. So I'm making multiple column. Now we will see how we can add. So here I want to add a link for the quality manual. So I will go to the media manager. Okay. Then here first I have to upload the file. So just upload. So before that, so select the file that you want to upload. Okay, suppose I want to upload quality manual. So I've just select quality manual. Okay, and uh, this quality manual I have made. Because okay, so I just uploaded this quality manual. Uh, and it will be seen here. You can just add. Quality manual. You will find there, there will be quality manual is uploaded. This is quality manual. <clears throat> okay, so you can see here quality manual is uploaded. So I think two times it is uploaded. So I will remove. Okay. So if I show you how to save it, okay, you can see beneath the quality manual. This is a this quality manual. Okay. <clears throat> so you can just open it and you can see that quality manual it will take some time okay. so you can see the quality manual now okay then you can again add so add go to the edit page now i want to edit the qsp so how, how i will do select here between the two column and go to the media manager okay and select the file now i want to upload the qsp file okay <clears throat> quality standard procedure so if I select here this, so this are this is how you can upload your document also, or you can write, you can write it with the help of this column or a bold a symbol. Okay, and you can add. So I just upload it. Okay, and after that, just I want to add this. So I will go to this media manager. It show us the this QSP file. Okay. So you can see here now it is a QSP file is there. Yeah. In between this bracket, it should be there. Okay. So now I can save it. So you can see this is quality manual. This is your QSP. Uh, again, I can add my primary sample collection manual. So I have to go to the edit page and add my primary sample collection in between. Okay. <clears throat> so select the file again and add the primary sample collection manual. Okay, and upload. So it is there and you can just add it So you can add here and go to the media manager. Here it is a file, so you can see. Okay. 
ओके लाइक दिस दिस इज क्वालिटी मैनुअल दिस इज यूएसपी दिस इज योर प्राइमरी सैंपल कलेक्शन मैनुअल लाइक दिस दिस इज हाउ यू कैन सेव योर एन एम एल रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड कोलोबरेटिव वर्क इज पॉसिबल एंड ओल्डर वर्जन आर ऑल्सो कैन बी सीन ओके तो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द डॉक्यूविकी I hope you like my video. If you like my video, please hit the like button, share my channel, subscribe to my channel, share this video, and press the bell icon so that you can see the future video also. Thank you again for watching my video. So that ends this lecture.